Hello everyone. So in this video, we are trying to send a sensor data that is DHT11 sensor data from STM32 blue pill to ESP8266 node MCU over Modbus and that data gets forwarded to a MQTT server and the value of that sensor is displayed. Also we are trying to get a control signal from the MQTT client uh, that is the dashboard which is received by the ESP8266 and the same information gets forwarded to the STM32 blue pill device over Modbus and a control action basically a controlling a relay is done. So let's see the schematic or the connection diagram for this experiment. So you can see we have uh, taken node MCU and STM32 uh, Arduino blue pill device as our microcontrollers and on that Arduino blue pill we have connected the DHT11 as the relay and in order to establish Modbus communication we have used the RT, uh, RS485 to TTL converters on both of the microcontrollers and the node MCU is connected to a, the MQTT server uh, of Adafruit for this experiment and which is connected over Wi-Fi. So the connection diagrams will be provided in the description for your reference. Now let's check out the hardware setup for this experiment. So as we mentioned we are using STM32 blue pill and node MCU as our microcontroller. Uh, so the communication between these two microcontrollers are uh, done using a uh, Modbus. So STM32 blue pill has a DHT11 sensor installed in it as well as a relay is connected to this uh, STM32 blue pill node itself. So the sensor data that is DHT11 sensor data is communicated from blue pill to node MCU over Modbus communication, Modbus RTU to be specific and in that node MCU the received data gets uh, pushed onto the MQTT server of Adafruit and we have set up a dashboard wherein you can see the sensor data. So in the dashboard itself we have uh, created a widget for a uh, slide on off switch. So depending on the status of that on off switch a message is published to this node MCU and that same message gets pushed onto the uh, STM32 blue pill node over Modbus and depending on that message we are activating the relay. So the USB to TTL converter that you can see on the top left is for seeing the log messages in the from the STM32 blue pill. Here the STM32 blue pill acts as the Modbus server and the node MCU acts as the uh, Modbus client. So in this server, Modbus server, we have uh, configured two registers. One is a holding register to uh, have the uh, temperature data from the DHT11 and another is the coil register which contains the status of the <coughs> relay. So uh, we are updating the holding register values in the server and the values of the coil register is updated from the MQTT dashboard. So depending on the status of the dashboard uh, if the coil status has to be on or off, it gets communicated to, MQT, uh, to the node MCU via MQTT first, then the same information gets written onto the coil register via the mode bus. Now let's move on to the demonstration part. So here you can see the serial ports from the node MCU and the serial port from the STM32 blue pill. And you can see the dashboard here, seeing the temperature value and the on off button. On the right side you can see the actual hardware. So here you can see the temperature getting published. Now if I click on this on button, you can see the message is received from the node MC first as well as you can see that gets updated in the STM32. On the uh, hardware setup you can see the relay getting turned on and off. So uh, you can just note if these messages. So if I click on, you can see received on message from the dashboard as well as the coil stat becomes one which gets published or pushed on to the mode bus data. So if I just update this, you can see this happens in real time and actually the hardware also you can see how it gets reflected. Now let's check out the software part of this experiment. We'll start off with the server code uh, that is the STM32 blue pill code. So here we have included the libraries for the Modbus as well as the DHT11 sensor. 
so in this node what we are doing is we are reading the temperature uh, value from the dht11 and uh, adding it to a holding register of mode bus so here we have defined the pins which are connected to the uh, dht11 sensor as well as the relay and as uh, for the uh, server we have mode bus server we have uh, given or considered the ID for the coil register and the temperature register as 15 and 10 and the slave ID as 1. So here we have defined created a read temperature function which uh, reads the DST11. So in the void setup what we are doing is we are uh, doing the initialization steps that is the DHT11 sensor initialization, the software serial uh, for communicating with the R TTL to you. RS485 converter and then we are calling the begin method on that modbus object then we are adding the holding register with that particular uh, ID and similarly we are adding the coil register and then we are initializing the holding register and the coil register with a default value and in the void loop we are kind of repeatedly reading the temperature and uh, that temperature value we are uploading to the holding register we have multiplying with the 100 so that we can uh, take the decimal values also then we have one read coil register function which reads uh, the coil register so if we go to this definition of this read coil uh, the, sorry this is the read temperature so here we are taking the temperature value and printing it like for this particular defined interval and in the coil read coil register function we are uh, repeatedly reading the coil registers and that value is updated by the node mcu based on the value that it gets from the mqtt then that value is returned onto the relay uh, only if the current state and the previous state are different so now let's check the code for the mode bus client and the mqtt so in this code what we are doing is we are re having both the mode bus code as well as the mqtt code so we are including the required libraries for this particular uh, node so and here you can replace the xx with the uh, respective that is wi-fi name and the password as well as the adafruit username and the adafruit key from their website then we are basically uh, publishing with a particular topic temperature to the feeds temperature in the Adafruit feeds as well as we are subscribing to a particular feed with the name on off again which we are configuring in the Adafruit website then we are basically using the same uh, register values for temperature and the coil state as we have used in the server side and the same slave id then we are initializing certain global variables and function de declarations and this is a callback that helps us to understand the mode bus communication whether it was a success or failure if it's a failure it gives out the id then in the void setup we are initializing or setting up the serial communication the uh, connection to Wi-Fi and subscription to that on-off button from our Adafruit dashboard. Then we have the software serial begin as well as the uh, Modbus begin and Modbus master. And in the loop void loop function what we are doing is we are uh, continuously connecting to the mqtt as well as we are checking for any subscriptions so if any uh, information or subscriptions from the on off comes it comes here then what we are doing is we are checking whether the message the last message from that subscription on off 
button uh, is a, the character on if it's on what we are doing is we are setting the coil stat variable as one so this variable is the one that we will later write to the coil register and if that message was off we will set it as zero so that is the reception that is uh, mqtt message and now what we are doing is we are reading the temperature value in the holding register in the our uh, server code and we are saving it in the variable coils so this set of codes will help to get the values in the variable coils and we are converting it back to a float then every 10 uh, millisecond we are kind of publishing it onto the MQTT so this line temperature dot publish with temp publish variable helps us do that then we come to the coil right coil part so depending on the message that is coil stat uh, which gets updated from the MQTT receive code that is this part so the variable gets updated based on what is the message that is from, coming from the dashboard that value gets returned to the slave id 1 and the coil stat register so this piece of code helps us to check whether the transaction is complete or not then we have the function for MQTT connect which ensures the proper connection to the MQTT server is there. Thank you for watching this video.